right, we're going to do the shade cloth on this greenhouse today. We're going to use a 30% shade cloth because the flowering plants, that's as much as you want to go. If you're doing just lettuces and things like that, you can get away with 50%. But we're going to do a 30% shade cloth. Um, we'll do that from start to finish. Okay, the owner of this greenhouse said he's in witness protection, so he can't be on the video. Just so you know. <laughs> All right, so the only tools or, or things you need, screw, screwdriver, and the shade cloth, of course, some paracord that we're going to throw over so we can pull it over. Okay, first we're going to roll out the shade cloth. Next I'm going to throw some paracord over the top and then we will attach the paracord to the shape cloth with these little clips. This is a Pac-Man with teeth. Alright, with the par we, we use paracord to throw over. You can use a heavy string or a rope or whatever, but paracord is our favorite. It's the new duct tape. Anyway, you probably only need two on most of the greenhouses. If it's a really long one, you might go three, one on each end and one in the middle, but we're just gonna go with two to pull this over. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha, got it in the wind, did you see that? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put one of these clips on each corner and then tie the paracord on. Get it on. Push it together. If you need to use a pliers, do it, but that usually is all you need. Feed this through and tie it off. Good old square knot, because like Huey said, it's hip to be square. Okay, next, start pulling it over, and I'll pull it about halfway, and then I'll get the next one. Now, if it feels like it's going to pull down on you, we'll go ahead and put the screws in first tie a loop so we can tie this off so it doesn't pull on you. If you got help, you can have one person on one rope, one on the other. You need a half. Okay. Nothing like having tension. Gotta keep it even. Get it about to right here and check how far it's gone on the other side. Okay, so we pulled it over, not quite all the way that way, it's about this far over here, so what we'll do now, we'll go ahead and put the screws in, and attach it, and we'll do that right now, and that way we can see how far we need to come on this side. Okay, so I'm just going to put a screw below the wire lock channel, right here. Don't want to put it above, obvious reasons and put it so they have a slight angle downward. And that's all you need. And then we're gonna put a loop in this. Look it on. Now sometimes we can hook it right through the clip and we still may do that but this is temporary for now and we're going to go ahead and tie off the next the other corner. One here and one there yet so we'll have four screws on each side. Okay, so a lot of times we won't even need the piece of paracord with the loop. We can put this on, 
and put it right through the clip through the hole there. And it'll hold really good. So as you see, I'm not gonna need this. So I'll take that off and I'm just gonna clip it right. Clip right through the right through the hole there. And there we have it. Shake cloth. Okay, we're all done. 30% shake cloth. Um, that'll keep it about 10 to 15 degrees cooler. Uh, and you need, like I said, that 30% you need for your flowering plants. Don't go any higher than that for those, like tomatoes and peppers and all that. 50% is fine for the lettuces. But some people attach their shake cloth into the wire lock system. I really don't like doing that. This is so much simpler. Um, if it's really windy, this could roll on you. Well then, easy fix for that is you just put a clip here and you can attach that there just to keep it from rolling. But it's just a lot simpler. You don't have to take out all that wire lock when you go to take this off in the winter. And here's the evaporative cooler we were talking about. In the next video, we'll show you exactly how to make it. It's inexpensive. It's easy and well, well worth it. So we'll see you soon at Greenhouse Solutions and Complete Growing because it's where we keep it simple, we keep it sustainable, we keep it affordable, and most of all, we keep it real.